Hi guys, J2J. Hey guys. This is a different style of video. It's not a Goodwill Finds. Um, this is just our current uh, BB gun, pellet gun collection. Uh, three out of the four guns um, were bought at Walmart. The other one was found while we were at one night trash picking because someone got evicted over close to my parents house so anyway this one is clip fed co2 hold on a second get that open so you guys can see co2 this thing right here just box back in and it has deep decent grouping um, it's the XCP and then we have the Powerline 426 by Daisy, which is also CO2 fed. You take the handle and slide it down. I don't think I can do it with one hand. Hold on a second. It looks like that. CO2 powered. And then it just slides right back on like so this one has decent grouping it's uh, top fed so that's pretty nice you can see exactly where you are with the rounds this one the Colt Defender is also a CO2 um, side fed right here this one was the one that we found while we were out um, scrap in trash pick whatever uh, it's called found that that has decent grouping too all three of them are semi-automatic which means as fast as you can pull the trigger that's how fast the BBs will come out a full automatic is when you squeeze the trigger it empties the whole round um, so but anyway those are the three pistols there is another one um, that is also clip fed. I'm currently in the process of putting it back together because I did some custom paint jobs. And uh, I have a custom paint job here to show you guys too. It's the synthetic Remington Express 22 caliber brake barrel pellet rifle. Now this thing was all black, all of it. But I painted that, that on the other side of that, that on the other side of that, and the trigger guard. And also the 4x32 scope, which would be over there. Um, I, uh, I painted the uh, some of that too. But anyway, like I said, it's a synthetic uh, 22 Remington pellet gun brake barrel. And this thing has really good grouping. It has amazing power. I mean, the kick behind it. You wouldn't think a pellet gun would have so much kick. But uh, this is really enjoyable right here. I really love this gun. Um, honestly, I would say if you guys are in the market for a cheaper styled pellet gun, don't go online. Go to your local Walmart if you have one. If you don't, then you have to go online, but... This thing was really cheap. It was a hundred under a hundred dollar buy. And it's really worth it. The grouping is amazing. Um, really easy to key in the sights. All in all, just an amazing gun. This Colt Defender, this has really good grouping. Um, the 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 power behind it, it's really good within your first like six shots. But then it starts uh, lagging. The uh, Daisy Top Feeder. That has amazing power behind it through the whole CO2 cartridge. To me it doesn't even seem like it loses any power at all. And then the um, XCP. It has good, decent power. Uh, not, not the best thing, but for under 40 bucks, what do you really expect? So anyway, guys, if I was to recommend any one of these four guns, uh, we'll go top one to least 
desirable, I'd say the Remington 22 Express, then the Powerline Daisy Top Feeder, then the Colt Defender, then the XCP. That would be my choices. But anyway, guys, like I said, um, different style video. And uh, don't really know what I'm going to title this yet, but I'm sure it'll get figured out along the way. So anyway, guys, this is J2J. Uh, if you like the video, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, share. And be sure to hit that bell, because if you don't hit the bell, you don't know when we make more videos or do recent updates on anything. So be sure to do that, guys. I know it seems like a lot. But in the end, it's really worth it. So anyway, this is J2J, and we'll see you later. Bye, guys.